Chief Executive Officer of the Private Enterprise Federation, Nanal Sebonzo, has blamed the Finance Ministry and the Central Bank for the locked up funds of the private sector in the aftermath of the financial sector cleanup. He explained such funds have cost the private sector and led to major losses. He spoke with my colleague, Nuon Falon. Key word is directive. The, the president said, I'm directing the Minister of Finance and Bank of Ghana. And if the president issues a directive, you, and, uh, you will appreciate that his surrogates would jump up and make sure that his, the directives is respected and obeyed. It came on the 24th. Today is what? And more than 31 days ago, and nothing has happened. And any time you delay the resources of businesses, you're delaying the way they're doing business. And you're causing them a lot of uh, things that they would lose, savings and loan and microfinance and all. 90% had been paid in mini schools, but the people with millions that are locked up in there are still struggling to get ends meet. They've appointed some receivers who don't know their left from their right. They, some of these receivers were part of the problem anyway. So the impact on businesses, a lot of businesses, a lot of depositors is negative. This is unacceptable behavior, unacceptable what is going on, and we've been complaining and talking about it. So we're hoping within the next 10 days, all the funds that are locked up in these institutions will be released to the appropriate owners.